and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to recreate a night vision goggle effect. Someone asked me how to do that, so my last video was on creating this binocular effect. If you've seen that video, just watch the first half of this one where I'll simply show you how to create this night vision effect. We've got a simple clip right here and all that we need is the tins, just drag and drop it on your video footage. You can do so under effects, if you don't see that menu, go to window, click on effects and we also need effect controls, here's our tin now. And we want to map it, so map the black to some greenish color. And we also want to map the white to a green color. It's a good idea to map the black to a darker green and then map the white to a lighter one. But the exact colors, that depends on the footage that you use and sometimes it's even enough to only map black or white to green. But in this case, use a dark one for black and a lighter one for white. And you can also use the amount to tint to make it somewhat opaque and reduce the intensity or increase it. So as I've said, if you've already seen my last video, you now only have to apply this goggle or this binocular effect. If you don't know how to do that, let me show you this once more. So all that we need is the circle effect, but first we need a black video. So back to the projects menu, right click new item, black video. It has by default the size of a sequence, in my case for YouTube videos 90, 20 times 1080. I'll drag and drop it into my timeline and then I'll resize it so that it has the same duration as my video footage below. Now I'll drag and drop this circle on this black video element and here it is in effect controls. Let me increase the radius to 500. It's a good value. I want to feather it out a little bit. So I'm going to drop down and maybe I use 50 as a value. And it's important to change the blending mode to add. Now copy it with the right click and a right click paste. We've got two circles now and we need to adjust the center position. So under each circle, center. Let me go 400 pixels to the left for the first one. So it's 560. Original number was 960. So for the other one, we need 960 plus 400. So it's 1360. Now the final step is to use a different blending mode, but it has to be the opacity function, so the blending mode for the entire black video element. And we need the multiply for this. And this is about it. This is how you can create this night vision goggle effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.